Hello, I'm Dr. Victor Ibanusi, Professor and Chair of the Environmental Science and Studies Program at Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. Spelman's commitment to environmental responsibility and the sustainability of the Earth's natural resources extends to many aspects of campus life here. We are determined to lead the effort in reducing dependence on fossil fuels. The patented biomediation technology that I developed here at Spelman will be very important to ensuring sustainable energy and environmental systems. This is because contamination is of a broad aerial distribution, therefore requires extensive energy and in many instances are not cost effective. At Spelman, we started up our research using simulated ponds in the laboratory. We had an opportunity to use the system for field demonstration at two locations, one owned by the Department of Energy at Savannah River site. At this site, they have coal pile runoffs, coal piles. When it rains, the runoff runs into catchment bases that have the potential of leaching toxic metals into groundwater. Our effort was to remove those toxic metals from the coal pile runoff. We were successful in doing that. This is a model of the engineered microbial system that we are attempting to put in place. Here, we are able to control the essential parameters that are critical in bioremediation. Those include redox, pH, dissolved oxygen, the amount of nutrient, the amount of bacteria that are essential in ensuring a more efficient system. The research that I conduct in Professor Ibunusi's lab focuses on creating an artificial neural network, which is a computer-based model that uses a series of matrix for data inputs and outputs and makes computational predictions. Using the code that Mondelin explained earlier, we created the artificial neural network optimization tool. And using this interface, we can insert certain parameters, such as the amount of bacteria, the amount of nutrients for the bacteria, water ratio, and the amount of treatment days, the pH and redox, in order to have the best combination of these parameters for the most efficient bioremediation of acid mining drainage. This phase of our work, we're attempting to move our bioremediation technology from lab to commercialization and deployment in the field. The goal is to enable the end users to be able to use our technology portably.